it's Bee's Knees Week, the tail end or the stinger end of Bee's Knees Week, as it were. And so we're going to participate, uh, thanks to the lovely Bar Hill Gin, in their Bee's Knees Week 2020 hashtag. That means you make a Bee's Knees, which you will learn how to do shortly, and then you Instagram a picture tagging Bar Hill Gin and hashtagging Bee's Knees Week 2020. And in return, Bar Hill will commit to planting 10 square feet of bee habitat. Uh, so please participate, make your drink, I'd like to see it, and then also the bees, which may be the only thing keeping us alive, here on Drink Up Cocktails. So, the Bee's Knees Classic Cocktail. Super, super simple. All you need is gin, honey, and lemon, and some ice. And that's it. What I like to do is use the Bar Hill Gin, which uses honey as an integral component in their distillation process. It's delicious, it's out of Vermont, every batch tastes a little different, and I think it tastes like a perfect summer day in your mouth. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to build this in a cocktail mixer uh, instead of a shaker. You could use a shaker if you want. I just find that it kind of uh, dulls everything down in this situation, and we want everything to be bright and summery. So, we're going to measure out two ounces of Bar Hill gin. Again, you can use another gin if you'd like, but I cannot recommend Bar Hill enough. They did not sponsor this. I'm just a huge fan. They even use beeswax to seal the bottles, which I think is delightful. Now, because there's honey mixed in with this gin already, I'm only going to add a spoonful just to give it a little sweetness. If you're using a regular gin that is not sweetened, you'll probably want to add more. So it'll be about half an ounce of honey or honey syrup. Now for the lemon, I'm going to juice half a lemon. I'm going to do it on the table so I don't spill it on myself using this beautiful juicer from Broken Yolk Ceramics. Also not sponsoring us. Really? Just my friend Chelsea and she does amazing work and you should check them out. We'll put info in the comments. So this is going to be about half an ounce of lemon juice. And you can use fresh or you can use bottled, doesn't matter. But again, fresh is just gonna be a little bit more bright. Now we're just gonna stir it, really just until the honey dissolves. The alcohol will help break down the sugars as will the acid, but you're still gonna have to stir it a little bit. Just pretend you're in rent with the sound of one spoon stirring a glass of iced tea. If anyone knows that deep cut, we're very similar. Okay, looks like it's fully integrated now. Now I'm gonna strain it using this strainer because I didn't feel like taking the seeds out ahead of time. And we're going to serve this drink up. So it's going to be with no ice. And you see we get this beautiful color from the honey and the lemon, almost briny. And then I'm going to top mine off, this is totally optional, with some Boston Bitters um, it's a lemon and chamomile bitters. So I think it just adds to that floral summery quality, even though we're in fall. And then I have some last minute basil uh, blossoms. So I'm just gonna put that on top. It adds a little bit of flavor, but mostly I just think it goes with the whole bees, honey, flowers theme. And that's it, you've made your bees knees. Cheers, your flapper grandparents or great grandparents would be proud. Oh man, it's so bright and delicious. And you're saving the bees. So drink up and I'll see you next week. Cheers. Want to know what's in my glass? So do I. Like and subscribe below and you might find out. Be quiet, Myrtle. Mommy's drinking. <laughs>